It is National Work Zone Awareness Week as states across the country are urging safety in our work zones to help save lives. But as 4029's Robert Sir tells us, if you speed through a work zone in Arkansas, well now it could end up costing you. Allison, good evening to you. Now we are firmly in construction season and you're sure to see plenty of these around the region, these orange barrels. Now they're meant to do two things, protect workers and urge you to slow down. And thanks to a new bill that Governor Sanders is expected to sign soon, if you don't slow down in a work zone, well, there could be a cop waiting for you at the other end of it. Almost as fast as the tulips come up, so do the orange barrels as another busy construction season is back in full force. And as you hit the road, RDOT and police want you to be mindful of those workers taking strides to better your ride. A recently passed state law known as Act 707 would allow state and county officials to place speed cameras inside active highway work zones to nab offenders. The bill was the brainchild of State Senator Kim Hammer. That camera would be in the work zone. It would take an image of that car, record that speed. It transmits it to the trooper that's sitting outside the work zone, and then they're able to stop that car using that imagery. The senator adds at the end of the day, the data collected by the cameras is wiped clean, and the cameras can't be used for any criminal or civil investigation. RDOT tells me the new law is more about saving lives in work zones than writing tickets. Our initial goal in all this was not to write a bunch of tickets. That gets us nowhere. This is all about awareness and all about saying, when you're driving through those work zones and you see those orange signs way in advance, just really be aware of your speed, uh, certainly you're driving and put the phone down. He adds the system should be up and running later this year. I also chatted with Keith Foster, the Rogers Police Department, who adds that saving lives is the main goal. It's not about writing the tickets. It's exactly what they said. It's about keeping people safe, making sure that the flow of traffic is going on and everybody gets to where they're going and where they need to be as safely as possible. Officials say the new laws needed as work zone crashes have soared over 70% in the last four years, including 13 deaths and 52 serious injuries. And Allison, the message from everybody I talked to today was pretty cut and dry. Just slow down when you're in the work zones. It'll help save lives and could also help you save a little cash in your wallet as well. In Rogers, Robert Sir, 4029 News.